Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to integrate this wall switch panel to King Kong ESP32 board used by KCS V2 firmware. And here you can see, this is our A16S board that made by the ESP32. In this video I will use this A16S for example, tell you how to set by the FTTT command for the digital input. And actually you can see, there are many ESP32 board in King Kong this ESP32 home automation web page so you can see there are many ESP32 board you can use this way how to set the wall switch uh, for every ESP32 board okay you can see this is the web page of A16S container web page and you can see that have V2 firmware for the KCS and you can see the monitor and we can state monitor and the ADC and the sensor the temperature sensor because we have used this temperature sensor DS18B20 and this is the input 16 channel input and this is 16 channel output so you can see I can turn on turn off really one by this mouse very easily so this web page also can work in the mobile phone web browser so you can see I turn all on and all off it's very easily so now I will show you how to use the input to trigger the output there are some different way and many powerful and you can see this A16S board I have connect with this two cable that is for digital input one this one is ground and this is digital input one so you will see uh, just this cable I can shut for this and you can see the monitor at here you can see that it turn green and I disconnect that will become so you can see I shut I disconnect I shut I disconnect we can use this input and triangle this really output set by the FTTB command we just need to click FTTT and here you will see that have edit button and click such as I want to use this talking really one and you can see this if if condition and this is then so this I can check DI that is means digital input this is DI1 because I have connected with digital input 1 for example and you can see that triangle type have many different powerful functions let's look at how to I will tell you what is the difference now we can click this single click that means just click one time so I can click single click click apply and this DO that means the relay output if you want to turn on relay 1 you can input 1 if you want to turn off relay 1 you just input 1 at here that's off if you want Togging relay one, so that input one. So I want to tog in relay one. I just input one at here and press apply. Now you can just click this enable and click save, and it will be restart. You can see this is two cable. You can see I can shut for one time. That is on, and shut for one time. That is off. So this is a single click tugging, tugging 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 so this way we use for this momentary switch this is a momentary switch just will out reset so you can see uh, this is k1 to k4 I just use 2 1 if I connect with the kcom if I connect with k1 so you can see if I press this button 1 that will be on and off by single click uh, this means single click okay and this is single click we can click edit and if I choose this tribal type for double click so you can see here double click and apply and press this save button and restart so you can see this time I click one time just a single click is not work not work but this means double click will be talking double click will talking so also you can see here 
I have connected to this K1 and ground at here, K1 and ground. I can, you can see, double click is available. But a single click is not work. Single click not work. Okay, this is how to use the double click. And now we can change this different way and this will be changed to hold on and press apply and press save and now let's test it you can see one click double click is not work and i must hold on uh, you can see this is talking relay one so hold on that is talking relay one if i connect with this button You can see, hold on, really talking, hold on, really talking. So this is hold on, the mode. About the hold on time, you can see here that in system, we have a default setting. This is hold on time. And you can change uh, what time you want to hold on the time, such as one second, uh, two second. If you want to change one second, you can just change to 1000 and a 2 second you just change to 2000 so that is very easy and now let's look at the next work mode so we can click edit and click this digital one and this means uh, the state is true and the state is off so just any time the state is true and off will means this triangle type and this is rising rising edge and this is the follow edge because this is means the level is become high and this follow edge that means the level is become low so this is different range but the most important is we need to use the both edge so that can use this launch switch so this is all the traditional switch so this time, uh, this switch can use for the ESP32 board. And if we choose this both edge, you can see I can press apply and save what will be difference. And now you can see if I shut, the relay is on and release, relay is off. So every range just on and off just disconnect and connect we all triangle this relay so that can use for our this launch type so you can see i can connect with this line and this one just very easily i connect with two cable on off uh, talking talking so any side this relay will be talking so that you can use this cable and connect with the traditional switch. Uh, maybe you can use this one, uh, this traditional switch. This is four gun and just this one gun. So if you have used this switch that have normal open and normal close, so you just need to use normal open uh, this two point. And with this two cable, it work well. So you can see if I connect with this L1, channel 1, this two cable, and you can see I can press this button on and off, you can see here. So this really will be work. So this is very flexible. Use this digital input uh, for this monitor switch or for this launch switch, that will be very easily. And this cable that we have designed for long distance that support max 300 meters. So I think is enough for your whole automation project to use. Okay, thanks for watching.